If you have a VPN, follow along. Otherwise, check the description for a timestamp to skip ahead. All right, so uh, method number one to be able to send your BNB from Binance US, which is this current platform we're on. This is the Binance the dot US platform. Uh, to be able to send this to your MetaMask wallet, we're gonna have to send it to the Binance International first. And as you can see, make sure you enter both memo and address data, so we understand. So this is Binance International, which allows BEP2, BEP20, and ERC20 movement of BNB, as you can see. Whereas the Binance US version, BNB, only lets you move in BEP2. So we're gonna have to send BEP2 to our BEP2 deposit, as you can see. So we're gonna copy this address, paste it right here. We're also gonna make sure to copy the memo and paste that into here. And I like to double check to make sure that we have the correct address. So 136, as you can see in the beginning, 136. It also ends with GF23. GF23, cool, double checking, 173, 173. I like to check the beginning numbers and the end numbers to make sure all of our numbers are correct. So let's say we're gonna send 0.2 BNB, I did 0.2, didn't take it because of the zero. All right, and once we've confirmed our email, our withdrawal order has been submitted. As you can see, the average arrival time is two minutes. So we're gonna have to wait a couple minutes and we'll restart this once we're back. Now that we've received our BNB on the Binance International, uh, we've received 0.199, so we've lost 0.001 to our transaction fee from Binance US to Binance International using BEP2. Uh, we're going to want to send this to our uh, Binance Smart Chain, as you can see, BSC enabled uh, MetaMask wallet. And for our video on how to enable your MetaMask wallet for the Binance Smart Chain, uh, we'll have a link to that in the description. Once you've done that, we can just copy this address which is our public wallet address for our um, MetaMask wallet. And we can come into here and we're gonna be withdrawing our crypto. We're gonna be grabbing our BNB, for example. And here's the address we're sending it to. And it says wallet automatically matched the corresponding network, which is the Binance Smart Chain enabled wallet. As you can see, it automatically picked it out for us. And let's just send the max amount, all of it. And it looks like we're going to be paying another fee of 0.005. So this is half the fee that we were paying last time. So another small fee, but even smaller than last time. So let's just withdraw. Small network fee supports this network. Yep. And, you know, we're going to be paying this small fee. Make sure that you're okay with that. And we're going to skip these quick steps for you. And once I've verified all of this, we can uh, send our BNB. All right, and after we've confirmed with our phone and email, we have officially sent our BNB as well. And now it'll take a couple more minutes and that little bit of BNB should be added to our Binance Smart Chain wallet. And just a few moments later, we've already received our BNB into our Binance Smart Chain enabled wallet. The Binance Chain wallet is easy to use. Use the receive address from the Binance Chain Network drop-down box to get your BNB from Binance, and then send it to the receive address from the Binance Smart Chain Network drop-down box. From there, you can send it to a Binance Smart Chain enabled MetaMask wallet. So we're gonna be going over to the apeswap.finance website and you'll have a connect button up here to connect your MetaMask wallet, which is a Binance Smart Chain enabled wallet. And all we're gonna do is simply go to trade exchange and ApeSwap is just a decentralized exchange where you can swap your tokens for other tokens using the Binance Smart Chain network. So any token that's on the Binance Smart Chain network or wrap token in the Binance Smart Chain network can be traded on here. So personally, let's just look for banana today which is the uh, native token of this exchange, which we can pull up right here. So we're gonna be swapping some BNB for banana, as you can see. And we can kind of test out and see what the relative rate of BNB to banana is. And you can see about one BNB is equal to roughly 104 banana, which is each about $136, $35 currently. So 
let's just get 0.1 of banana which is about half of what we sent just a little over because we've been paying a little bit of fees let's swap this and as you can see the rates are always changing so this will update as the rates change and I'll receive price impact price and I don't see the liquidity fee small amount let's just confirm the swap 0.1 for 10 banana alright this will confirm shortly and we will be able to see the banana in our wallet and if you can't see the banana in your wallet you're gonna have to scroll down to the bottom and say add token right here and you can copy the token address like coin market cap or coin gecko for example and we can pull up banana ape swap token right here banana oops I don't think it clicked on it there it is as you can see the price is 350 today banana we can scroll down and here's the contract ID so we can copy this go to our MetaMask and we just scroll down to the bottom and say add token and paste this co uh, token address and once you paste this in there as you can see I've already added it it'll automatically pull up the symbol decimals of precision and you just need to hit next and add that token but as you can see I already have banana added and we've already gotten our uh, 10 banana as we were going through this we lost 1.1 BNB for 10 banana and now let's go and provide liquidity with that so we can add liquidity and we, we want to select two pairs BNB and banana because we have a little bit of both alright so prices and pool share so for liquidity we're gonna have to put equal amounts of both so let's put the max amount of banana we can put which is only about 10.37 and it's gonna find the equal amount of BNB which is 0 0.099 which is basically 0 0.1 which is what how much banana we bought just uh, earlier so let's supply this liquidity confirm so we're gonna be losing both those amounts on both sides confirm confirming the transaction on our MetaMask just off screen cool and that should go through soon and once that goes through and we're providing liquidity uh, which will earn us really high interest rates we're gonna be losing our BNB oh the, as you just saw live uh, we just lost our basically 0.1 BNB our banana is gone and our transaction is confirmed down here as you can see so now we've provided liquidity we can click on liquidity again. you should be able to see down here BNB and banana and you should be able to see how much you've provided pooled banana right here pooled BNB and we've received 0.92 pool tokens for this so you might say what is that uh, liquidity let's add that right now alright so we've gotten those tokens now those pool tokens as you can see ape LP those should possibly show up in your wallet if not you might have to find the token address for this I actually don't know how to find that but we can take these and go to the farms now on the left side and now we can stake those tokens that we also got to earn more banana on top of what we're already earning oh as you can see I can already harvest 0.5 that's from the other day I already uh, provided some liquidity as you can see I already have uh, three, three tokens in here let's add more tokens as you can see since we got another 0.92 so let's add all of those in here confirm now we're gonna have to confirm in our MetaMask wallet again that we're willing to send those tokens out and they're being sent right now as you can see boom and as you saw the bananas and monkeys that little bit got added to our liquidity oh I don't know what happened to our harvest if we got that harvest or not maybe we already had the harvest and we just added those tokens back oh no we collected our harvest as well as you can see now I have 0.5 as you can see there was a 0.45 in here uh, now I do have a little bit more banana again so we'll just hang on to that for now and we will be uh, if you want to see the stats of uh, what you're going to be earning and as you can see the interest calculator is right here about 175 percent interest is what we're going to be earning on our uh, LP tokens and we can see the ape stats on the left and this will kind of tell you how much you have pooled in dollar value what the banana price is today how much you're going to be earning daily just about right and as you can see we're going to be I was earning about I, I want to say 0.5 and because we provided another little bit of liquidity with that 10 banana that we just added now we're earning uh, 0.67 so we added a little bit a little bit more to our daily earnings which means we're going to be earning this daily in banana uh, in banana 
in our farm. So you can come back here every day, go to your farm, and you can harvest whatever you... Oh, we've already got 0.01. Look at that. So this this will just keep going up over time, and you can just harvest those. And if you want to see what the stats of those are, you can go right to Ape Stats and check out uh, how much returns you're going to be making, basically, yearly, monthly, weekly, daily. Thanks for watching, guys.